so as per your requirement i am going to start the topic of store ledger that fee for leaf for method yes correct correct okay so the topic is you know how to maintain records of uh, material accounting for accounting for material okay okay how to keep record uh, of materials okay so in in a manufacturing in a manufacturing unit you know this is a you know very uh, big headache how to maintain the records of you know records of material okay so there are two systems to maintain the records of material uh, the first is what uh, periodic system periodic system okay periodic system yeah and the second is perpetual system perpetual system system yeah perpetual system so in periodic system actually see what we do we you know count uh, the stock we compute the stock uh, normally after a certain period get my point yeah suppose uh, my year is 2013 it is started on 1st january mm. so it will over on 31st december obviously okay mm. so uh, if in this uh, accounting year if i compute the you know uh, if i count the stock if i compute the stock on this day after completing one year not during the year after completing one year if i do if i compute the stock and its a value then it will be termed as what periodic system okay, okay. and per in per in perpetual system what we do we you know maintain records and the records will help us you know to compute the stock daily basis at the end of each day we, at the end of each day we are able to know that how much stock is laying in the go down and what is the value of that stock mm. it is able for us under which system perpetual system but in periodic system we will get to know about the stock only after a, uh, only after you know completing the certain period after g getting over the certain period okay okay so today i will explain you both the things periodic system and perpetual system and let you know what is the difference between both the system okay okay fine so see okay, fine. so i am taking one question and in that question we will solve that uh, we will solve both the uh, we will discuss both the things periodic as well as uh, perpetual system okay. so see one question is there this is the question okay yeah now see in this question what is there the sunrise company uses periodic inventory system okay yeah yeah the company makes a physical count at the end of each accounting period to find the number of units in ending okay so see what they said first uh, we have to underline this that which method they are following not perpetual system periodic system they are following periodic yeah, yeah. periodic inventory system yeah periodic inventory system they are following and uh, what they said they told that you know the physical count you know physical count uh, take place when at the end of each accounting year not during the year not on the beginning date at the end of the year okay end of each accounting year yeah they conduct the physical counting that is suppose this is the go down and how much is how much stock is laying in go down physical counting will be done okay yeah but when at the end of the year that's why this system is called you know periodic system okay now see further information the company then applies which method first in first out method to compute yeah. to compute you know cost of ending inventory ending inventory means cost of closing stock got it okay yeah so it means to value the closing stock company follow which system which method first in first out method got it right yeah so see here two things are there physical counting we are doing you know first uh, before valuing mm. before valuing we need you know physical counting that how much units units are laying getting my point mm. 
and then yes. then we will value that unit then i will take the rate in order to value then i will get the value okay mm. so to compute the units we are following which method periodic inventory physical counting is done at the end of the year get my point okay yes yeah so after physical counting we will get to know the about of in, about the uh, about of the units and then we will follow fifo method to know the rate that which rate we have to uh, use in order to value these units and after deciding the rate we will multiply both the elements units multiply the rate and then we will get the value okay okay and for value for rate we are following which method first in first out method okay yes yeah yes. now see further what is there see the further information uh, see what is given the information about the inventory balance at the beginning and purchase made during the year 2012 are given below so on the first day of the accounting year we we had how many units 400 units isn't it yes and the rate was 18 per unit and the value is 7200 and during the year we purchase you know goods three times Yes. first on march 12 then on october 17 then on december 15 we purchase three times and see now now at the end of the year what is available during the year so after this is the available units during the year okay correct available units means opening stock plus purchases available units now see what is okay. the, what is the status of you know units at the end of the year it means after after physical counting see what is the status on 31st december 2012 600 units are on hand according to physical count okay okay we conduct we conducted the physical counting and 600 units are laying in the go down got it yeah that it yes. it means that during the year it means uh, did available units were 2000 but now out of 2000 still we are having only 600 it means you know 14 1400 of raw material we used we used in the manufacturing correct okay 1400 kg or units whatever okay yes now what is required see first they asked what compute ending inventory at 31st december 2012 that that value we are to compute what is the value of that closing inventory and then we are to compute cost of goods sold okay okay now see what i am doing fifo method we are to follow so this is the periodic method isn't it yes yeah so in periodic method see what i will do first i will take the opening stock how many units are there tell me 400 Yes. And now, what is the total purchase? See, six hundred plus eight hundred, fourteen, fourteen plus two, sixteen hundred, sixteen hundred. Na purchases. Yes. This is the opening stock, and during the year, I purchase sixteen hundred units. Got it? Correct. Correct. Now, available units two thousand, and out of two uh, thousand units, I sold how many units? Fourteen hundred, isn't it? Yes. Fourteen hundred units sold. Now, how many units left? Six hundred. Okay. So this is the closing inventory, closing stock. You can say. Now we are to value this closing stock, and by applying which method? First in, first out method. Got it or not? Yes, got it. Yeah. Now tell me, what do you mean by first in, first out? You just tell me. First in, first out means. So the first purchased uh, sold first item. sold first uh, sold first yeah so see during the year we sold how many units 1400 isn't it 1400 it means we during the year we sold 1400 isn't it yes so our, it means first we sold these 400 units okay so out of 1400 you know 400 you know are these these units and then we then we sold it means whatever units left that is you know belongs to the last purchase na yeah. get my point yeah whatever unit left at the end of the year that you know uh, represent the last units purchased got it Correct. It Correct. means it means six hundred uh, remain. It means out of this six hundred, two hundred are this, and four hundred are this. Understood or not? Sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, last, last uh, point. Uh, first in, first out means whatever I purchase first, that I sold first. Correct. 
सो इट मीन्स ना वॉट एवर यूनिट रिमेनिंग दैट यू नो रेप्रेजेंट द लास्ट परचेज ना सो सिक्स हंड्रेड रिमेंड सो आउट ऑफ दिस सिक्स हंड्रेड इट मीन्स टू हंड्रेड आर दिस एंड रिमेनिंग फोर हंड्रेड बिलोंग्स टू फ्रॉम दिस ब्लॉट इज एंड इट या सो सी हाउ आई वील वैल्यू सो फोर हंड्रेड फ्रॉम दिस लॉट ना फोर हंड्रेड फ्रॉम दिस लॉट एंड वॉट इज द यू नो रेट ऑफ दिस लॉट ट्वेंटी टू सो आई विल कंसिडर ट्वेंटी टू एंड टू हंड्रेड फ्रॉम दिस लॉट सो टू हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाई बाई ट्वेंटी फोर नाउ सी वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ क्लोजिंग स्टॉक सो इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई यू नो फोर हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाई बाई ट्वेंटी टू सो आई विल गेट यू नो एटी एट हंड्रेड एटी एट हंड्रेड एंड नाउ इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई टू हंड्रेड विथ ट्वेंटी फोर सो आई विल गेट यू नो फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड नाउ वॉट इज द टोटल जीरो जीरो एट एट सिक्सटीन कैरी ऑन वन नाइन फोर थर्टीन सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ क्लोजिंग स्टॉक वैल्यू ऑफ क्लोजिंग स्टॉक गॉट इट मी या सो वी गॉट द आंसर ऑफ फर्स्ट ओके एंड नाउ वी नीड टू नाउ वी नीड टू नो यू नो कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सोल्ड वॉट इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सोल्ड एग्री नाउ सी दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ स्टॉक अवेलेबल ना फोर्टी वन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड and from this still we are having value how much 13600 stock of 30 13600 yeah so this is the value of stock available and this is the value of stock closing stock remained so 41600 minus closing stock value is 13600 so what is the value of cost of goods sold 28000 okay yes so this is the answer got it first in first out method yes got it yeah now see same question we will solve but now following which method lifo last in first out yeah okay okay so see what is last in first out just a minute so last in first out means uh, whatever unit re remained now hello yeah yeah that is you know belongs to the old purchase actually we will assume that See, we issued. See, uh, we issued fourteen hundred units. We sold fourteen hundred units. Getting my point? Yes. But we don't know the date that on which date we sold. Agree? Yes. So that uh, so that is the problem. So see what we will do in periodic method. In periodic method, we just you know. Uh, now six hundred left. Now now six hundred belongs to the you know old lot, which is the old lot. Yeah. So two and four hundred from this. This is the old lot. Yes. Are you getting my point? Fourteen hundred I sold. So and the method yes. is what last in first out. First yeah. out means first sold. So this is the last unit. These are the last units now. Yes. So right. so I sold these units first. So it means now whatever closing stock remain that is belongs to the you know former units. Old lot. Old lot. Agree. Old. So so six hundred remained. So out of six hundred, four hundred was the opening stock. We will assume this at the rate of eighteen. And now remaining two hundred, just to make six hundred. Remaining two hundred, I will take from this lot. This is the old one. Yeah. Multi multiply by twenty. Now see what will come. So four hundred, four hundred multiply by eighteen. So it will come. You know seventy two hundred. And two hundred multiply by two thousand twenty, it will come four thousand. So eleven thousand two hundred. This is the closing stock. Yeah. Now, if in this case I I want to know cost of goods sold. So what is the cost of goods available? Forty one thousand six hundred. And eleven thousand two hundred. This is the closing stock. I will subtract. Yes. So forty forty one thousand six hundred. Minus eleven thousand two hundred. So this is the cost of goods sold. Rupees, you know, thirty thousand four hundred. Agree? Yes. So this is the periodic method. Got it or not? Yeah. Yeah. So two methods I explained you. Understood? Yes. Two correct. methods. Leaf four, fee four. Now I am going to explain you. You know, simple average method. Same question, but simple average method. Simple average. Method. simple average method 
now see in simple average method see what we will do first we will value the closing stock so after physical counting what is the value of closing stock 600 okay yes 600 units but now we need you know simple average rate rate we need to compute and for that see what see what i will do i will take all the rates so the first uh, rate is what 18 then 20 then 22 then 24 only rates I will consider not the units okay now uh, so total of rates and divided by number of rates how many rates are there four rates are there yes four rates are there. yeah so let's uh, compute the average 18 plus uh, 20 plus 22 plus 24 so the total will be you know 84 84 divided by 4 so it will come you know 21 so this is the simple average so this simple average I will consider here so what is the value of closing stock 600 multiplied by 21 so it will come you know 12,600 got it yes yeah so see now what is the cost of good this is the closing stock now what is the cost of goods sold same formula 41,600 minus 12,600 now see it will come 41,600 minus 12,600 so it will come 29,000 this is the cost of goods sold so understood the simple average yes yeah so simple so, so in simple average we will compute only the average of the rates okay yeah yeah now one more method left that is weighted average method weighted average rate okay weighted average rate now see in weighted average rate what we will do we will multi we will compute the weighted rate weighted average rate first we will compute that yeah. and with the uh, with that rate we will value the closing stock so to compute the weighted average see what we will do we will multiply the units with the rate and we will get the product okay yeah so same thing we will do for with all the rest of the purchase also so what is the total value we are getting 41,006 41, and what are the total number of units 2000 so total value divided by total number of units 41,600 is the value of 2000 units so what is the weighted average rate the weighted average rate is you know 20.8 okay now what is the value of closing stock so 600 units multiply by 20.8 hello yes 